welcome to glowing hour <laughs> it's been like two weeks and i'm like do we say anything else we no we don't that, even introduce I ourselves mean, every time i think we say like do we say anything else that's oh my that's god that is our thing isn't it god dang it today we're drinking a strawberry tequila soda spicing it up just a little just a little bit yeah oh, delicious it's refreshing hmm and like still no sugar like you know artificial no sugar no sugar (laughs) (laughs) anyways so we're keeping with the theme of aging Aging. and i guess like why are we so afraid of aging specifically as women maybe there's like something to be said oh for sure you know about the pressures of looking a certain way your whole life and not wanting to age for that reason like I'm literally 26 and I have wrinkles on my forehead and I'm like, who, what, hello? Like, oh my God, that's so wrong. How dare you? How dare you have wrinkles? You're only 26. You like, not really, dude. Just use that. You already like, stop You your said, you know what? Process. I can fix it. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard of? But that's literally what we do to ourselves, like, and each other. Like, not like it's, I mean, is it a bad thing? I don't know. Like, if we're insecure about it and your friend is like telling you they're insecure about it, of course we're going to be like, I have a solution. For sure. You know? So I don't think it's that crazy. And also, we're all talking about Botox. Like, do I? <laughs> Listen. Do you remember when Tana was Tana Mojo was doing that shit? And yeah. like, when she's twenty one. She's like twenty one. And I was like, that's like I feel that's like extreme a preventative. Much. Extreme preventative. Un- unnecessary. But also, I just remembered that. Like, I remember Jeffrey Star had said, like, I don't get Botox. I just learned to not move my face. Yes. Liar. Oh really? Yeah, because recently he's like. I do the took everything out, stopped doing lip filler. Like, these are my natural lips. No more Botox. Like, my face moves like normal. I'm like, uh-huh. You fucking liar. You little fucking liar. Anyway. I just think it is also a fine balance of... <sighs> That's the thing. It's like, you can't be too old looking, but you also can't be too young looking. Like, don't look like a baby, but also don't look like this. And don't look like you have a bunch of filler in your face. But also, you have a wrinkle? <laughs> like a- I feel like you're, you're... Every time you're like talk on the podcast oh. you're like on um be- below deck vibes <laughs> and i'm like how can i bring taylor swift back into this no. <laughs> <laughs> like that line which is like everyone's a, i feel like everyone's a sexy baby and i'm like a monster on the hill fucking mm-hmm. vibes mm-hmm. like y'all literally just want us to be like sexy sexy babies, babies. <laughs> weirdo but yeah it's how do you deal with the fact that you are just aging? And, like, so many people are like, I love age. I'm like, yeah, because you're aging gracefully. You don't you have wrinkles great. at 26, babe. <laughs> Whatever. We all, all have the same problems, I guess. <laughs> but, yeah, there's, like, this sexy baby vibe where you just, you got to be just as tight as you were 10 years ago when you were a teenager, even though you're a full-grown woman now. And maybe you had a baby. Maybe you are just eating more because you're happy or you have a healthier relationship with food. Like, there's just... Also, the fact that you're just, like, naturally growing. In general, your hormones are changing. Your body is literally changing. Wait, let's talk about hormones because I feel like (laughs) it's really a concept that everyone's trying to fucking figure out. Every woman or, like, I guess every... Yeah, every woman's, like, trying Mm. to fucking deal with them. Yeah. I feel like... It's, like, fed to me on TikTok, but also just, like, in general, I definitely don't understand what the fuck's going on with my body half the time. (laughs) And, like, trying to figure it out is not a fucking easy process. Like, why doesn't anyone just, like, teach us about this stuff? Like, Like, when we learn about periods, it's never about, like, and so during this time of the month, you maybe a little bit. like, when they fucking showed us the fucking slideshow Mm -hmm. about our periods, why can't we get one literally, like, now by (laughs) our fucking health practitioners Mm -hmm. saying, like, hey... Your hormones might be changing around this age. Like, yeah. instead, I have to fucking figure it out by myself. And then when you go through menopause or pre-menopause, like, like for updates. Real. I us, really... I re- can we get paid to make that program? Probably. Link, link up with some researchers and then we're like, hey, we got an idea. Probably. Because I'm like, it's there's no way that my hormones are only changing when I get my period and maybe when I get pregnant and then when I hit menopause. menopause. Yeah. Like, there's no fucking way. Like, well, no, they're literally changing, changing every day. Well, like, yeah. I mean, for like a week at a time or whatever, but generally, but no one every day you about, it's different. Like, the cycles within the cycle. Yeah, exactly. You know what I, I mean? I didn't know there was a fucking phase. I didn't know there was four phases. Like menstrual cycle. I menstrual thought, thought, phase. Exactly, but I thought it was just menstrual cycle. It's just the whole thing. It's the whole like, beast. 
learning about PMDD, like, I was like, oh, I have, like, a whole week before things even happen. Mm -hmm. What? And then a week before that where you should really be hitting it hard in the gym. <laughs> Literally. And then another one where you should be, like, nice and dainty and quiet with yourself. Yeah. Like, like what? Anyway. Like, that would really... We should look into that. <laughs> but hormones, like, that is, like, one thing in itself. Yeah. That, like, I think aging has really shown itself mm -hmm. um, to be different. But, yeah, also, like, why... I don't know if you're like this, but I, like, constantly... And I feel like a lot of women are like this, actually. Like, they, they're constantly, like, comparing themselves to their, like, 18-year-old selves. Of, oh, like, physically constantly. How to, I like, would look at photos on Facebook, and I'm like... I was like, damn, I was so skinny. Was so, so tight right there. <laughs> like, the skin was... The skin was tight. Mm. And you're if you're, like, older than us, and you're watching this, you're probably like, shut the fuck up. You guys are so young, and your skin is tight, and you... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what? It's I could see the things happening, and it's very fucking... I'm distraught. So. <sighs> it's like, on one hand, I'm like, yes, aging is beautiful. When I see an older woman, I'm like, I, period. Like... It's just, like, I want to do it in a way where it's also not, like, just everything is everywhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, respect you. Love that that's who you are and what you look like. <laughs> but for me personally, I just would... <laughs> I just would feel more confident with things being a little tight. Like, uh, wrinkles, chill. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm 70 years old, babe, let me live. Listen, babe, I want to, like be snatched yes and then like have my wrinkles you like know, i like, want to be oh, fit with wrinkles she's a little wrinkly like she's older i can tell I can but tell, that's a but mature she, that's a mature fit woman fine ass woman you know what i mean clearly i'm not so, in that realm right now like what the fuck is going on i don't know what that takes if it's a lot of money <laughs> or if it's a lot of working out like what is it like what's your secret sis <laughs> like those like moms on tiktok we're gonna be like my mom's fit check and i'm like Damn, lady. How'd you sleep so hard? What are you doing? What's your secret? Honestly, I feel like everyone, like, gets asked that question who is in that, like, age range. They're probably, mm. like, honestly, like, I learned to not be stressed anymore. Yeah, you just, you're living. Or how to deal with it. Because it's, it, stress literally, like, fucking ages you. Like, no other. Oh, my God. Maybe that's why I have wrinkles on my forehead. <laughs> 25 was hard. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I think there's just too many layers. Also, the factor of us being older and, like, now we're being looked up to as a generation. And also we're like, oh, like, the generation below us is so annoying. You know what I mean? Like, we're at that point. Ew. Yeah. I, it's like... To be fair, though, I don't know that I, like, talk shit about... No, not like... your kids. No, but it'll just... More, like, worry or, like, curiosity of, like... What is this going to turn into in the next 20 years? You know what I mean? Again, bringing back, I thought I brought this back uh, up in the last episode, but mm. Wine Country, they're like all older ladies and they go to that art show mm. and the like, I guess like, they're just like, hey, how do I make sure my kid doesn't turn into an asshole? Not to say that you're an <laughs> asshole, but like, also how do I like relate to, how do I not come off as like an angry woman when I'm like just trying to like state an opinion? It was just like a lot of questions of mm. like older people trying to fit Stay into young the, yeah fit, like yeah exactly it's just interesting i feel like that's for sure the next another phase of you know this is like <laughs> i my brain's just fucking going uh -huh. and i think that's what this episode's gonna be like but um <laughs> it makes me think of like i don't know if you think about this but i have these thoughts about how i dress mm. and i'm like am i still in are you trendy still not even that, because I know it could be trendy, but I'm like, I am trying to just, like, look like myself and feel good in what I'm wearing, but also, like, I do look at, I guess, like, trends, and I'm like, am I not in the, like, am I not in the age group to be doing this anymore? Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think it's, like, this fine balance of, like, trends are fun, so you'll participate, kind of, but also, like, we're at the age where it's, like, irrelevant to us you yeah. know what I mean? in a way yeah. where it's like i'm just dressing what i want to wear yeah but then i do get that like as a younger person it would always be like mm, like you dress super boring because you're not in the trends or like whatever but then it's also we look at the younger generation right now and we're like you're dressing how it was in the 90s and like early yeah. 2000s which i already lived through yeah okay but well, that's true 
Mm-hmm. I'm just like, I think sometimes I just like get a little bit like not anxious is the word, but just like tripped up about how maybe this trend that I'm trying out isn't even like cool anymore or like mm-hmm. am I too old to be doing it? You know, like, is it reserved for, like, little young I don't think you're ever too old to do anything. I guess that's true. Like, I'll see a 60-year-old in, like, a crop top and whatever, you know, like a tennis skirt, right? That's an example. And it'll be, like, period. I love that for them. I just, like, like, now when I see people with skinny jeans, I'm, like, I don't ever want to be the person who, like, is in on top of, mm. of, like, But I feel like is there always... There will always be something, though. Like, oh, yeah. she has the side part. Middle parts are in again. Or the oh, middle no, part, side, side parts, parts are in. in so. Exactly. So, like, it's just always changing. Oh, my God. I can't. And also, there's <laughs> things that are trendy that, like, a majority of the people in this world will be like, why is that trendy? <laughs> like, that's I true. hate everything about that trend. Yeah. I think that's also just, like, the part that I'm, like like visibly getting older i'm like i don't know that i can do this anymore yeah you know it's just not the same i guess like a the, the free experiment experiment what experimental experimental side of ourselves yeah. is like withering away <laughs> at the ripe age of 26, 26. i don't but know I also, I also like just want to stay young though like that's what I'm saying. It doesn't even matter. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Even if true. it was a trend from when we were in high... Like, bring back the seatbelt belts. Bring them back. No. Let's not. Let's not. What else is it? Neon jeans. Um, I had four pairs. Tank top. Tank top under the top. Under a v-neck. I was watching... When we were watching Mean Girls, oh. like, that's such a sleigh. But that wasn't... Was it a v-neck? I it think wasn't. it was an a orange tee under a white. It's kind of cute. Maybe you should be that Katie for Katie's birthday. I might get myself like a really nice push bra. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. That's a genius idea. That's she wrote it down. She was like, I don't want to forget. I need to write this down. I love that. I was just slaying on the ideas that day. Yeah, you were just they're just coming flying right out of you. <sighs> In my creative juices again, you know. Yeah. Things. Anyway. I just I I don't know if I love or hate it yet. Like, aging. like being older. I think both, I guess. Aging is just... Yeah. It's a little hard because you're... There's... I feel like, okay, with like the thing about wanting to look like 17 again, not necessarily... I don't want to look like I did when I was 17 because... Like face-wise. Face-wise, I was just... a baby. I always have a baby face and mm. I still do, I think. But I'm like finally... Lo- I feel like I look more grown. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> um, even though I think people like think I'm 21 still. Really? Yeah, they're like, you look really young. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I hate that was like one of the things I hate, but I know that that's it's a flex. Come. It's a flex. It's I don't even care. Later. No, it's a flex now. It's a flex right now. I just like I guess like I don't want it to translate into like they think I'm immature. No, Which I don't no, think they a, think you're like extra mature because they think you're 21. They're like, how the fuck is this girl 21? Mm. You know, it's like why well, she's so mature for her age. You know, <laughs> but I yeah, I don't want to look in the face, but like just like tight. <laughs> fucking being it's a tight athletic little <laughs> and like being like energized i fucking miss my energy you know what i mean uh, and i don't know like i think with that like i think it's just like the sentiment like i really loved how i had all these things before <laughs> and like i don't want to be that you know what i mean no i, I yeah i'm not trying to stop my aging but i just want to like preserve some of the stuff that's there preserve where are the preservatives at <laughs> pump, pump me up pump me up with those juices yeah no i do i get that i i dearly miss the physical aesthetic of my body and i took it for granted and you know the energy whatever <laughs> that's a big one for me i feel like i hate i hate waking up so fucking exhausted nah dude i got energy up the wazoo i'm still maybe it's because you're working out maybe 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 that's, my, maybe that's a piece that i'm missing maybe but um yeah i mean i'm I also drink way too much coffee mm. i want to switch back to matcha do it anyway I'm so missing. yeah no i there's nothing really to say it's like i get that point and then i'm also on the other side of like aging is yeah. like <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm like ecstatic to age, but I'm like mm. excited. Like Tori, our friend Tori, she just can't wait till she has gray hair. She wants a full head of gray hair. 
I could see it for her. Right? We could see it for her. Yeah. But for me? Oh my god, not <laughs> not wine country literally being all of us at that Ooh. fucking party. Like, that's literally... The group. The group. I love that. Anyway. Aging is just complicated. It's a fucking complicated it's complicated. One. And I don't think we'll ever have it figured out. We're always going to be aging. And it's always going to be this new... I mean, right now it feels probably like the beginning of the end yeah. but like the beginning of this concept entering our lives of what we expect ourselves to be doing like in the first episode what we should be doing at this age and then now like aging physically and yeah all the changes that comes with that i kind of like want i feel like i want to dive delve deeper also because i know we like want to have a certain episode come out mm. about certain thing girlhood okay i'm just gonna say girlhood (laughs) um but i also like want to like explore i guess like girlhood and like womanhood i guess with like different age groups like obviously we talk a lot together about it Mm -hmm. but i definitely want to hear from somebody who's 30 and someone who's 40 someone who's 50 someone who's 60 yeah like i feel like it's it might be really interesting to like have a conversation about like maybe asking the same questions to aging women yeah like our moms you know my my episode might be in spanish like my mom's episode but like oh my god wait we do it like solos with her mom yeah maybe (gasps) kind of cute i don't know like and then it could like turn into like a series of like different women like i feel Mm. like there's a lot to learn very cute yeah i think our perspective obviously isn't the only perspective and by no means do we ever say that is the case it also might just be like what it is because we're this age you know yeah I mean? exactly and we could be agreeing with our mothers in 40 years 40 years yeah Ugh. i like that idea let us know if you guys like that idea we'll probably do it either way <laughs> because we like the idea but oh yeah i think this is just short and sweet and like aging it's just it's a thing right now we hate it because we're i think scared I think we're ultimately, like, scared. There's a lot of things to be scared of, but a lot of things to embrace. Mm -hmm. And I think that combo is just overwhelming. Yeah. Like, the uncertainty of knowledge of what, like, what we're saying, the hormone thing. Like, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing at this time, blah, 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 blah. Is that going to help me age better? Is Botox going to help me age the way I want to? Is Botox going to fuck me up? Is, like, there's just so much unknown. Yeah. Yeah. And not knowing, like, do I even need it or will I need it one day or... I think with that, that makes me think, like, I'm not necessarily scared to age. I'm just scared to age and be unhappy Mm -hmm. and, like, unfulfilled and, like, not utilize this, like, vessel of a body that I have to its, like, prime capacity. Because I think we're always going to have insecurities. Yeah. Like, that's a given. There's going to be something you might not like because i feel like love maybe is too hard but like you just don't like about yourself Mm -hmm. but like you're still you through and through yeah and i think that's something we have to remind ourselves like just because like literally friday we both of us were saying we're so bloated and i was like i feel like regina george like (laughs) nothing busy right now (laughs) but like still having the best time of our lives regardless of that like that's what it's about like maybe we can complain a little maybe we can try and find something we want to wear that doesn't accept accentuate whatever it is that we're insecure about and then just going on with the day yeah it really is that thing that like i I don't know when i had said it i think it was like around my birthday but like Mm. you're not gonna remember what the fuck you wore yeah you're gonna remember the time that you had Mm -hmm. it's the body image episode i think yeah just fucking move it forward honestly yeah I agree. Anyway, I think that's, that's it. All that's it for this one. Mm-hmm. Thank you guys so much for listening. As always, give us a rating if you haven't done that already. Like us, follow us on Instagram, and DM us your thoughts. We are chit-chatting in the DMs, in the comment sections of things. So please hit us up. We love chatting. It means a lot. It means a lot. More than you know. Yeah. So we'll see you guys next week.